can't imagine that when a prior Congress passed the Patriot Act that they expected that its provisions would be used against patriots or even BLM riders, for that matter. That's what's so interesting about this issue. We've seen these authorities abused against the right, the left, the middle, the rural, the urban, certainly people all over this country. And don't take my word for it. When the Inspector General for the Department of Justice, appointed by President Obama, did an analysis of the utilization of these FISA authorities, they found that our intelligence community had violated the law and the regulations 278,000 times. They were breaking the law 38 times an hour for the period that was being reviewed. I don't think it makes us unreasonable to suggest that if there's a law being violated 38 times every hour, that it should not just be expanded without some sort of curtailment or enforcement when those violations do occur. And that's why we want a warrant because it creates a process by which our constitutional norms can apply to something that has broken bad. And it is helpful that we have a, 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 a real U-shaped coalition here, where it's folks on the populist right aligned with those on the populist left, and we are fighting against the establishment of both parties who seem all too willing to do whatever the national security state wants of them. So our plea to Speaker Johnson is not to just continue to punt on FISA. That's what we did previously, and it's unacceptable. It's no fun watching a team whose best play is the punt. That's what, we, that's what we did previously, and we shouldn't do that again. And if we're going to make changes to FISA, rather than expanding the authorities, as Chairman Turner and some on the Intelligence Committee want to do, so that they can be weaponized against anybody with just you know, access to Wi-Fi at a Starbucks or a McDonald's, they should be curtailed. And if they are not curtailed, if there's not, an, if there's not a willingness in the Senate to curtail these authorities, then we should allow them to expire, as is contemplated originally in the Patriot Act. And I, I would now turn the mic over to my colleague, Representative Burleson.